I think I'm finally finding my zen. Meditation is now just a natural part of life. Um, maybe not. Welcome to Cairo, Egypt. We're going to spend 24 hours here and I'm going to show you all that I experienced. Hi, it's Victoria Rose here. Welcome to Cairo, Egypt. It's a lot. It is a lot. Going from Dahab, Egypt, which is basically an oceanside chill place, to the big city of Cairo. It's um, I'm going to show you what you can do in 24 hours here because I'm not staying here a long time. I'm kind of glad that I'm not. I'm here all by myself now. I was here with my friend Layla and we only had 24 hours because she had to get a flight out of here. So this is what you can do and what I did in 24 hours. And then after that, I'm going to show you, because I know a lot of people ask about this, um, the clothing that I have that I got for Egypt and Cairo specifically, even though I'm not staying here that long of what is okay to wear for a female and for me if you are going to Cairo for touristy things and you have a guide or a driver and you're going to touristy sites, you'll be totally fine with normal wear, you know, like you can wear normal clothes as long as you're not like going out in a bikini, you're gonna probably be okay. <laughs> um, but if you are staying in Cairo and going around the city, if you're a solo female traveler, you need to be more careful, careful obviously. But, you know, I, I normally don't wear a lot of layers of clothing especially in hot areas, but here, you know, you need to. Let's get into what you can do in 24 hours in Cairo, what to wear, and the culture shock. Cairo is the capital of Egypt. It's a very big city, like 29 million people. Had no idea it was so big, it's chaotic. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure to see the pyramid. So we had a plan for the day and it was all laid out. See the pyramids, see the tombs, see some artifacts. And we did, we saw it all. And it was pretty easy because we took the easy route and we were driven around like tourists. But sometimes you have to go the easy route. Most of them suffer from damage. But we were finally able to get away from our tour guide and venture undergrounds to the underground tombs. I wouldn't suggest you doing this if you're claustrophobic. Oh, wow. Actually, this was my favorite part because it felt like Tomb Raider Indiana Jones style, and I love that. This is what I wanted to do the most. So this was the forbidding tomb of King Titi. <laughs> It's actually really amazing to experience history like this firsthand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's also really cool the contrast between where the water is and where it's not just one side and the other. Our next stop was to visit Ramses. Ramses is the second guru for around 66 years. Uh, and he died in those 92 years. It's crazy growing up reading about these things in the Bible and, and history and then being able to see them with your own eyes. That's why I love travel. They always make the So our next stop is to 
Let's see how papyrus is made, original paper. Oh, to make a piece of paper, we just cut apart according to the size needed. Can be big, medium, small size. Kini, mini, or bikini size. <laughs> oh, Egyptian bikini. <laughs> so there is no bikini in my life, then. <laughs> so I like to be invited to US. <laughs> many, many US. So if Victoria can help me to get sure. take me in her bag, yeah, this will be good. Hats, mats, nothing quest. Victoria, mm. we divide this inner in slices to make the paper to be more stronger and more flexible. Look, the slice contains natural liquid. And this liquid we have to make it, or to get the natural glue, the liquid, we have to break the cells. Ancient Egyptian used the primitive tools, mm. stone ones. So Victoria, come closer. Victoria making papyrus. Yes, Take paper. Clever. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh man. Don't harm me, paper <laughs> please. Man, this is here a Turkish coffee, so use a special Turkish coffee. Nice. That's some so strong we coffee. We soak it in the water one week. A week is enough to be light or white, like the one behind me. If you soak it two weeks, it becomes a brown or chocolate. After that, all in horizontal. We cover the slices to be under the press machine one week more. Ancient Egyptian, they didn't have uh, such a uh, press like this. They had used rocks or two fat Egyptian ladies to sit on the slides. For one week? For one week, sit. <laughs> and flexible, flat, never be crashed, never fit, never be damaged, never be spoiled. Has a nice touch, unfinished. We have to soak it to finish it. So we write Victoria. Victoria in English. So we're gonna to remove Victoria Victoria's name now. So we do like this. Oh, wow. So if the painter do any mistake, he can wash it to clean it. After that, he can use it again. The oh. original eraser. Original papaya. You can wash it look like chamois or chamois. Yeah. Okay. I love your hairstyle. Thank you. It's, fa I it's can fading. can make mine like you. Sure. Mm -hmm. A week was 10 days, not seven like nowadays. So I have three six A long week. A long week. <laughs> a short week with hair. <laughs> <laughs> that would so be a long way. times 10 plus 5 circular provocations e 65 I think you are thirsty, yeah. you need to. Uh, you have... Oh, I'm so grateful yeah, because Layla got us matching papyrus papers for our friendship with our names hieroglyphed on. Which one? Victoria. Victoria. So it's getting pretty hungry, but before that, we had to check out Egyptian perfumes. I mean, I, I cannot let you smell it from the glass. No, no. Oh, okay. Why? Because the chemistry of the body is different from one to one. So okay. at the same time, it will smell different in both of you. Oh, uh, this was all part of the tour, and uh, I'm on a budget, so shopping's not my main priority, but it was really nice to see some of the products, and Egypt is actually very affordable when it comes to items and stuff to buy. It's no, no, it's more soft than that. What do you do for me? YouTube videos. I videos. she's an artist. I thought. Yeah. Okay. So now, mint, sandalwood. Mint and sandalwood. Now, just dedicate it like that rabbit leaf. Yes. Me and Hamsin. Me and my signature scent is vanilla, so I got vanilla. Okay, my name is Sam, I'm from Egypt, and we got these beautiful girls here, and we, we are happy that we can make them happy. This is the golden Eden place, and trust me, you will enjoy it. <laughs> so, we're finding time to eat this, and this is a good What's it called again? Pusheri. What did you get? It's uh, chicken liver. Nice. So apparently this is pusheri, which I said that totally wrong, but it's basically made up of a bunch of pasta and it's very weird. I've never had anything like it. There's a lot of, lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah. <laughs> Our last stop was to see the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx. Climbing the pyramid! We didn't get the pass to go in because that was extra. But you can actually climb up on the pyramid, which I did not know. 
we are in the pyramid, on the pyramid. We've climbed the pyramid. We're at the, we're on the pyramid right now. We did it. Give you some perspective though, the temperature here is probably like 100 degrees. Very dry, very hot, a lot of sweat. So it looks beautiful, but it's also very hot. So wear sunblock and drink tons of water. So I specifically wanted to get accommodation where you could see the pyramids, but also every night, maybe not every night, but there's a light show on the pyramids from the other side. Bye. Bye. See you in Greece, yeah, see you hopefully. <laughs> Good luck. Hey. Bye. All right, so that is what you can do in Cairo in 24 hours and on that type of budget. It was a lot more expensive than I expected it to be, to be honest. I did not expect to pay that much, but we went the, the safer route of having a tour guide that knows the area and having a driver so we don't have to Uber everywhere, which would have been a headache. Um, just to eliminate all headaches, we spent a bit more than you actually need to. I would recommend a driver. That was actually very useful. You don't need to get a tour guide. I like to take my time at places and uh, it's hard for me to hear and listen too much to too many words. So I'd rather read about things. I'm gonna show you a few outfits that would be okay to wear here. And also what I was wearing in this video was okay. And that was actually Layla's outfit. The culture shock of Cairo just off the top of my head, initial first impressions, because I've only been here less than two days now. And I'm going to be leaving tonight actually. But I'm, Cairo to me is the most stressful city I've ever been in. And I haven't even gone out by myself. If I were to go out by myself, I'd probably die. Um, I'm an adventurous person, but I never claim to be brave. I never claim to um, be able to handle any and all situations. I do have autism and I don't recommend solo traveling as an autistic person in Cairo. I just don't. It is extremely overwhelming. It, and especially if you're used to, you know, if you're, used to the Western world, it is very different, it's very overwhelming, and this might be, you know, a lot of cities in the Middle East. There's not a lot of road rules. There are horses and camels and donkeys everywhere. Um, that's the main mode of transportation, I guess, and I didn't, I didn't really know that. Um, lots of smells, lots of sounds, lots of stray dogs, lots of whips because they whip the horses. It made me very sad. I'm not dissing Cairo at all. I'm just telling you from my brain, my first impressions, like just logically of what I feel about the city. But every city is different, especially first impressions are never final impressions. There is beauty, I believe, in every city and every place. When you arrive to Cairo from a very chill place, there's just a big shock. It's, you know, it's a city and I don't mind cities, but there's some cities that are a lot more overwhelming than others. Uh, what I do like about Cairo is, of course, I think, and I still think that Egyptian people are extremely hospitable, Middle Eastern people in general. I feel like it's something that we overlook at, I don't even think we know this as Americans, that they're way more hospitable than Americans. They're just, I think that's just the way that they're brought up. And obviously, the sites, you know, the pyramids, the Sphinx, there's lots of shops. Um, the places we went to were very nice. I, I want to do like a little haul. Leave leave a comment below if you'd like to see like a haul of the Egyptian stuff. I still don't know if I'm going to or not. I'll have to do it in the next country. A lot of things to see. You know, you can't you can't see everything in one day. But I think we made some pretty good ground for being here for one day. It's very cheap here. Very very cheap. That's one of the top things. It's very affordable. That's just a short, brief initial impressions. I know if I stayed here longer, I could show you guys way more. And I'm not even, I don't even want to go out by myself. So I'm probably not going to and, until I have to go to the airport. Layla's not here anymore and I feel a little like, oh, I'm alone again. I'm alone in Egypt, alone in Cairo. But, okay, I'm gonna show you these outfits and then I'm gonna end the video. And they understand that I am an American, I'm not an Egyptian. It would be very different if I was an Egyptian and dressing, you know, like an American. So they understand that tourists are not going to dress and be the same way that they are. Okay, so this is outfit number one that I would wear probably here. It's very, 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 very hot here and not, not nearly as much wind as in Dahab. So you need to cover up your head because you get really hot. And also I would cover up my shoulders and my tattoos because the sun will and has really tanned me even though I wear sunblock religiously. And then this dress is cotton. 
it's also this from Dorwin. It's a good brand. It's hand dyed and everything. But cotton um, clothing kind of keeps in your moisture better than other clothing because it's so hot here. It's actually helpful. Usually in other climates, it's not. But lightweight cotton clothing is best for this type of weather. So outfit number two. Me trying to do fashion. Um, so this outfit I would wear probably doing touristy things. I don't know if I would wear it out just if I was living here. These boots are very dusty from the day. Very, very dusty. So this top is white, so it's not going to like burn you like black clothes. So it's good to wear light clothing. And it's also lightweight, but it also covers up everything. So it's very useful for the heat and for covering. Uh, these shorts are pretty baggy, so there's not a lot to see here. I'm actually probably gonna leave these shorts here because I haven't worn them. I'm probably not gonna wear them because I thought, I thought like maybe I'll need shorts like these, but I haven't used them. This outfit I would probably would probably be one that I would wear a beach tourist or just like kind of going out in the city. Um, I don't know if I'd wear this the whole day being out in the hot sun, but this one's good because you, this is you don't have to. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd wear this or not, but just to cover my head um, from the sun. And if I wasn't feeling like I need too much attention I would cover my hair somehow with it which is difficult for my vibrant orange hair but if you have normal colored hair I don't know but this is an Egyptian cotton shirt it is lightweight cotton and it works really well for this type of weather and it also covers you all up and then these pants are really nice too I would probably if I were going out I'd wear something underneath in case a gust of wind went like so I just I'd wear some black leggings right up to there and this is nice because they're baggy, they don't really show a lot, but they're still like comfortable, very airy. I like um, wearing airy clothes here because tight fitting clothes, for me anyways, way too sweaty, miserable. <laughs> so that is three outfits that I think, in my opinion, haven't been here that long, definitely not a professional. Let me know which outfit if you would wear any of those. So thank you for coming for this 24 hours in Cairo video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so happy for all the things I got to experience here. The next video will be a tour of the accommodation where I'm staying at and a budget. I'm just gonna give you a tour of this and it has pyramid views. It's an adventure. It's been interesting. <laughs> All right, I love you very much.